Oh my goodness, no way, you guys are terrible. You know, Normandy is just such a terrible place. And yes, people, I did realize I just say Normandy. I just, I'm having it kind of funny that I'm starting to pronounce Norway Normandy, and this is like becoming like the new Algeria. That's what I find very funny, and you guys get so mad at me for this kind of thing. It's so funny to see in the chat. Uh, I, and you, you guys are so angry at me for it, and I'm just like, yeah, this is Normandy, this is, um... I'm gonna call this <laughs> Reform Desire Prepare Influence Don't want we vote whisk <laughs> Yeah we could do that. Alright. What can I call this that that horribly mess it up? Hmm. Denmark. Finmark? Finmark. We'll call that Finmark now. So this is Normandy everyone and this is Finmark. They are really good countries to live in, I heard. Okay. And now we almost got all these underneath our control. We are getting our Carlos Bellies against our two enemies. Which is nice. Should have a couple in a couple turns enough technology to do more stuff. Our formalized weights, let's do that. Give us an extra tax modifier. Boost our stability up to three. And look at that. Look at that now. We are just... Oh man. We are just doing great. We have a 15 out of 17 cap right now. Um, mostly due to mercs, which means, I'm gonna just, like I said, I think I'm just gonna start using mercs more often, cause we, since we have such a good modifier towards mercs, I'm just gonna start using them more often. I, I'll probably later in the game, will probably get much more, you know, uh, what's the word, uh, less picky, I guess? Well, I mean, not less picky, I'll probably start using the, uh, other modifiers too, but for right now, since our country is really small, and since we still don't have enough manpower to really manage a full-sized army, which is kind of what we need right about now, so core that. Do I have a core on here? Okay, no I don't. Core this. Let's start coring this. Do I have cores on this? The finish is fine. We can keep it. Finish is a fine culture. I don't care about the finish culture. I care about the Samadhi culture, because they just like did a major rebellion against me when they were orthodox too. Kinda stinks. Kinda stinks. So, we should be doing that. Coin should be good. Okay, you guys just finished up with your claims. Alright, I don't think I have any more claims I can do on, um... Uh, yep, I can't claim anything else from Normandy, so... That's sad, but over here, in terms of... The defeated Novgorod, who I... It's, it's mainly be... I know it's mainly because of me that these guys are not doing so good, so I'm gonna claim this. Right here, so that if I do have to go to war, I want to make sure I claim all the white sea. The white sea is going to be my sea. It's not going to be Russia's sea. It's going to be my sea. Okay, and right here, we're going to move our people back over here to our mainland. Right now, I have in total... Apparently, I said it says I have 15 raised, right? 15. Oh, my crap is going up, too. Great. All right, I have apparently 15 out of 19 I can raise up right now. Which is, you know, semi-good, semi-fine. And I could still conquer Skelena. I wonder how long you could keep this for, because... 5 prestige if I do do it. Yeah, it'll eventually happen, don't worry. I'm just... it's take It takes a lot longer than you would expect to conquer one region. Okay. Like, extremely amounts of large time, so... Yeah, and then my other free Diplo, what I'm going to do is check all my relationships. Lith Teutonic and Lithuania could be better. Uh, Lithuania. Do I want to keep a Lithuania alliance? I, I was thinking, because I was kind of thinking maybe I should go with a Bohemian alliance. You know, I like get some more royal marriages going. You know, like, get more actions. Because, I mean, these guys would not be bad to, like, have. Like, bo like, seriously, Bohemia would not be a bad nation to have as your alliance. So, maybe that's what I'll do. Over here, both of my men are about to cross the the evil strait of evilness okay or as I like to call it, the sea the western sea of Outland okay two armies and 14k troops all because one of them is like combined and yeah, this is mostly all mug troops because I'm like I said my my manpower reserves need to be pretty high and right now we just really don't have that going for us so we need to kind of 
build a new army if you must will. So let's see. Is this 2,000? I'm going to need like two more. Dang. I was going to say I need like two more. Hmm. Let's see. When do my trees expire? Oh, my trees are all expired? Really? Shoot, I can go back to war with Denmark. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Denmark. You guys are the easiest to pick on ever. I mean, seriously, I could do... Wait. You have no diplomats to send. Oh. Send back this guy. Once as I loved our time together improving relationships, I do want to go to war as quickly as possible. Um, with all these alliances, I should be able to crush Denmark again. This time, though, I think I'm going to be much smarter and conquer Skalane a little bit quicker this time. Doesn't look like Novgorod's really having the troops. Um, these guys have about 3,000... Not really much to really brag about. Let's see, I'm guessing they have 10k? 10k, okay. I have 5k! So, yeah, I should be able to... You know, quietly beat the uh, Denmark's land grabs. They should not be able to, you know, stand up to me. At least, they won't be able to stand up to me once I get the rest of the army. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to just mainly focus on Denmark. I'm going to let my allies mainly focus on, um, mainly focus up on Normandy. So I could deal with mostly Denmark and claim everything, like Nor Northern Zealand, Middle Zealand, Skalane, and Belouge. All those places, I want to take all that. So, yeah, is this, I think I could begin this, this war, but I don't think I'll be able to end it this episode. So, let me just declare war. And you see, like, Skalane. I have to claim it on Skalane. Blekings. Uh, Midland, Jilland. With that, I should be able to, uh, conquer this. And it'll make my empire look like, zoop. Because having Denmark out of the way will be so easy. And then getting Normandy underneath my control is going to be easy, even easier. I just need to get, uh, Denmark out of the way. Because Denmark is the more powerful one out of the two. Alright, let's conquer back Skalane. Let's see. Oh, my allies are probably not going to join in. Yep. <laughs> How did I know that? How the heck did I know that? Probably because either they're at war with someone, or... Let's see. Or they seriously want to stop expanding. That could be it. I may have to, before I do anything, I may have to improve all my relations. Because... Yeah, let's just improve. Let's just go on a massive re improvement run and you know what I might do actually you know what I think I will do is that once I get this final claim onto here I'm just going to declare war on Novgorod by myself and we're going to fight that war all by ourselves because I don't think we'll need anyone else's assistance in that war and that way our borders will now look like this it'll have a little bit of Sweden dripping out into what is commonly known as Russia land also we do have to worry about Muscovy trying to catch up to us because that would be very scary Speaking of which, how are we doing in terms of technology? Are we keeping up? Uh, we're keeping up with everyone else that we need to keep up with. I'm not really scared about a... Like, I'll be honest, I'm not really scared of, like, a, sal a salvary uh, attack. I, I don't think they're going to ever attack us. I just have to keep up with France, Burgundy, Hungary, Austria, and I I'm keeping up pretty well. All these guys over here are starting to fall behind, so I'm also thinking maybe I should get a different alliance. Cause I mean, these guys are falling behind. I'm, I'm a little bit more advanced than they are, and I could easily take them all on if I really had to. But that's only if I really had to, and I don't really want to. Okay, we have a good combined force of Muscovy, of Muscovy, Novgorod. You guys are getting beat up by everyone. Muscovy is just beating up on everyone. It just annexed Pem, so now it has a really powerful modifier. Dang. I'm actually going to have to start worrying about them because they are right next to my border. Well, I don't know what that was for, but okay. Oh, and I don't have to be supporting my army anymore. Dang, yes. Okay, and 6.9. There we go. 6.9, everyone. Making 6.9 a turn. That is awesome money right now. Awesome, awesome money. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is that once I get this, causes Belai. I'm basically going to go to war and claim these two provinces. I think Novgorod's probably going to take all this, which means now we have a border line with Novgorod, and we're probably going to get into major conflicts. Not necessarily what I'm looking forward to, but it's kind of a necessary evil. Coin-wise, we are doing okay. 
about 36% on both cores. Once we get those cores, we should have less and less problems. But I'm still going to have to convert both of these cultures because they're both idiots. Once I convert these two cultures, and I'm going to convert the religion. Then we should be good in that respect. Ah, 15k troops. That's awesome. Over here, we can now still build about 19k. Should probably build like a smaller army over here or something. But I need to keep building up my uh, actual economy. Because my economy is very important in this game. Like, now buildings, building marketplaces, and building fortresses and all that kind of stuff is very, very important. Rebels, revolts, possible. It's always possible. It's because of these two provinces right here. They're so evil. Well, not evil. They're just annoying. <laughs> okay, manage exertion. Well, once these two are mine, I don't think exertion will be as much of a problem. Colonial manization. Yeah, forming the Scandinavian nation. Next turn, I should be able to do some more stuff with that. Can't wait. I seriously can't wait, because next turn, I'll be able to do a lot. Alright, building. I can build some more buildings. For the Catholic faith! Yay, they got more opinion boost for me. That's good. I'm going to do a constable, which gives me some more trade modifiers. Let's build it right here. This one's a pretty high trade value one. Alright. Man, Novgorod, you're just getting ripped apart by everyone. I mean, Muscovy seems to be taking over the role of Russia. Um, Lithuania and us are going to have to stop that, because that's a scary thing. Sweden is does not like the idea of a powerful Russia. Right next to my borders, too. That's not good. But we got 53%. That means it's probably going to take another 1,000 days before we get that, causes Belai. So we can just kind of chill and relax for a little bit. We're getting, letting our manpower sit. I'm um, Like I said, if I if I am going to get another full-sized army, I'm going to go wait. I'm going to I'm gonna wait until I get 20,000 maximum. Because, honestly, manpower goes so quickly in this game. Like, so dang quickly. It's, a, it's amazing. Conversion successful! We have converted a state that should have been converted a while back. Good. Let's see, is there anyone else we can convert? I wonder if you can do conversions and coin at the same time. No, you cannot. Dang. Well, at least now, no active cardinals. S spend your propel influence to vote for our future cardinals and increase your chance to continue. Well, there's absolutely no one in the cardinal faith or in our region that's actually going to do that, so no. That wouldn't really help us out in any way. Orthodoxy, Catholic, Catholic, huh, seems like some places, hey, how have the Ottomans been doing? Because they're kind of even with us right about now. They're doing pretty good. They conquered a lot of Greek and some Serbian lands. Venice has been expanding, wow. Dang, they did a good job. Like, they're starting to become a little bit of a blob. Uh, then we have some kind of war going on in Italy, maybe some kind of unification war. Kind of would be cool if we could see Italy form in this game. Henges, the Mamelukes, not really trying to conquer anyone. I don't understand that. That would not be my goal. I'd be conquering everyone if I was the Mamelukes. But I, right now, these guys... I'd say they're bad, but I'm right now these guys. Okay, let's get some more... This one's also pretty high. Let's get some more right here. Okay. Alright. Ah, oh, no, of God. As soon as I can, I'm declaring war on you to go kill you. Okay, let me get this off of this screen. Missionaries, we have one missionary, but we cannot send him anywhere because we have to wait for these things to get cored. They're going to be cored here pretty dang soon. Let's see, how many more days do we have to wait? 71! Yay! Oh, my goodness. Risk of discovery. Well, he already discovered me a while back, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and then Lithuanian, how are you guys feeling towards us? They're about to really like us, so is it really liking that was the reason why you guys would not join in? If I was to declare war. Oh, I have no diplomats then. Whatevs. But I think, hmm, I have to figure out the political reasons why they would not join me in this war, because I need their, I would kind of need their armies if I wanted to fight against Denmark. Because, as much as I hate to say it, both the Norway, Norway and Denmark combined easily beat my army. Which is sad to say, but it's just the truth. I know from the bottom of my heart, I cannot be in both. At least, fully. And now, if, Den and now if Normandy has the same amount of army it used to have, maybe. Yearly prestige. A national epic. Why don't we do that? 
New technology! Man, I'm really doing good. I'm really doing good in this diplomatic technology. That's only because I'm not really figuring out what I'm supposed to spend it on. It's like I, I don't really know what to spend this on. Uh, administrative tech, just kind of there. I can get a new idea. I would really get national conscripts if I could. Like seriously, if I could get a new national idea, I'd love to get national conscripts because then I'd give me a much more bigger manpower modifier, which is something my troops desperately need. And what about 9,000 reserves? Yay! Yay! Call to arms. Alright, the nation in order, your faithful allies requesting that you do aid them in the conflicting against Bohemia. Bergen. This is a war that they have started. Bohemia's ally with Bergen. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing I don't have an alliance with you that hardcore, but you... How did you... Why did you attack Bohemia? It's your same religion. Yeah, they're the same religion. Why did you attack them? They're gonna destroy you, and especially Burgundy. Well, actually, no way. Burgundy's dealing with a lot of things from France, so... They might be tied up, but Bohemia... Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, they did join in a lot of wars I didn't want to join in on. Okay, how about this? I won't join into the actual war, but I'll watch you guys. There we go. That's gonna be my rule of thumb. I won't actually join in, but I'll watch how the war goes. Okay, there was about 6k right there. We have a 20k army moving downwards. That's a good sign that there's some level of basency. So let's see, what? who are the sides in this war? It's basically Burgundy versus Bohemia. Bohemia is kind of occupied though. They have, they're dealing with their own kind of problems right now. Okay, can I like see different... Oh, I see. I'm, I'm still in building. That's why it wasn't working. Yeah, you see, they're dealing with their own stuff over there, so I don't think they're going to be able to join in that much. So, yeah, I think this was actually a good war. A good war to join in. You better not steal my land, because that's going to be my land here soon. So, I could just kind of watch this war go on. It looks like, with the with the combined forces of Bavaria and all of them, it looks like they're going to be able to take down the uh, Bohemian threat pretty easily, but... Burgundy. Well, Burgundy's pretty much distracted. That's the only reason why we're not dealing with much Burgundy. And my land is completely safe from this. Yeah, my land is completely safe. Burgundy's just going to be able to do whatever it wants. I'm not really caring about that. And my king has entered a military alliance or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Great episode today. See you guys next time. Ah, glory to the Sweden Empire, and welcome back to the legacy of the Vikings, everyone. We are here in EU4, here in EU4, just relaxing, actually, if we must be honest with you. We have just done major war with Denmark. We took back three, three places, three uh, places like Holland, Gotland, and I forget the third. Oh, yeah, we also took this place over here. We took all those places from these evil, evil neighbors who we will soon own and destroy, but before we get to the own and destroy our neighbors, we have a little bit of a rebel problem, and before I do anything else, I'm going to, we're going to have to get this under control, okay? We seriously have to get this under control, because in some of my other simulations of the future, I realize that if you do not get rebels under control quick, this could get rapidly out of hand, so what I'm going to do first is do this. Reduce. Reduce this all the way down to two. Okay? Let's get that all the way down to two. Now this is at two, we should have a much easier time with not as many of these rebels trying to, you know, spawn randomly out of anywhere. Because we should they should be much more nicer. Next thing, base value, colonization. Okay, that's not really important. Next thing we have to do is I'm going to, for a little bit guys, I'm going to switch from being a completely and utterly uh, a soldier centric people to being mercenaries. Because since we do have a bonus in our, I'm not even going to show it to you guys because I think you guys already know, we have a big bonus to like mercenaries and stuff, so I'm just going to build a merc army. Because I think we could honestly, 
we need to kind of let our manpower we heal, and to let our manpower we heal, we're going to need to get some mercs. Because we're going to, once I get as much army as I can, I'm going to go send this army up, and we're basically going to go take, okay, let me go use this army to go and, like, patrol, protect trade, patrol, let's go patrol the Novgorod. Since Novgorod hates us, it'd be very fun to keep, like, patrolling to them. Just be like, yeah, wait, that's not Novgorod. That's my land. What the heck? Regrettably, we lost our Reconquest Congress spell eye against Normandy. Oh, It's a good thing, too, because I need I need to have an excuse to go back to to war with uh, Novgorod. Because watch this, guys. I There are two ways I could probably, by the way, there are two ways I could probably, uh do things and let's see are you guys completely hatred to us where we never be able to do anything uh yeah you guys we're an enemy of your enemy we're basically your rival you're never gonna like us no matter what we do so let's just keep fabricating claims on you let's get the claims on Tundalag yay and then we're gonna fabricate some claims onto more of Novgorod Adalisk I actually do want Adalisk because it's a center of trade and be very helpful to us so back to the military so we basically have to build up a gigantic military to go fight against those 20 army men. So I'm just going to combine all my soldiers over here when they're ready. Um, this is going to be the biggest military we have ever put together. I mean, it's the only Merc army we're going to be putting together, so it's going to be pretty special. Um, basically, what we're going to go do is we're going to go take on that 20 soldiers, and how much damage we do the first time, I don't really care. We're just going to be using this first attack as a kind of... Suicide force, I guess you would call it. These are the suicide squads. I hate, I, I hate to use that term, but they're basically our suicide squad. They're basically gonna go in there and kill as many as they can, and then we're gonna use, then we're gonna go use other soldiers to finish the job. Cause as soon as they're weak enough, I think my allies will basically go in and crush them themselves. So combine. Oh wait, whoops, I didn't mean to make a separate Merc group. What I meant to do was combine all these lower land troops with each other so we can actually get a good reading of how much men we actually have. Because I think that's the problem, is that I keep forgetting to combine all of them, so... Just keep building, just keep building, just keep building, yeah. Just keep building as this nation and we're just going to build up. Like, seriously, we are building up. So let's see the tree. The rebels were successful. Oh no! Oh no, I'm so scared! I will get this situation under control, trust me guys, it's just going to take me a little bit. Um, places I do have to worry about though in the future, um, basically any place that isn't me, that isn't solidly my province, is basically a place I have to worry about. So what does that mean? Well, any place that isn't me, let's see, is this me, province, no I don't mean buildings, whoops, and eh, I'll, I'll look at that map mode later, and dang, that is a pretty map mode. Wow, they even have like auburn trees in it. Dang, like seriously, guys, this has always been one of my main loves of Paradox games. They give so much detail to their maps, like so much. It's amazing. Like, you know, it's it's so cool to see like the seasons change, like off screen, guys, not on screen. Cause I know some people on screen be like, James, that's so boring. Don't make me watch this. But off screen, oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. All right, so 16k. 16k is going to go take on whatever rebel bands are over here. Oh, heck no, are you taking on Navarra. That's my province. You are not getting that. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that... Oh, great. The Liberian Order wants to get military access. That's fine with me. You guys can have military access if you guys are willing to go kill a big gigantic rebel band. That's right there. Okay. Our ancestors are watching. Recently, our people have begun to doubt the legitimacy of our reign. We need to rewind them of our right to rule. Uh, lots of ducats. You know, I actually do need legitimacy, so lots of ducats. <laughs> oh, shoot, I just went next. I should take a loan here soon. I should take a loan here soon. That's kind of kicking my game in. Take one loan. There we go. I'll repay that in a couple weeks, don't worry, guys. We just need to kind of get that loan done with. Okay. So we have our 16k Merc group. Big Gigantic Army just basically here to go crush whatever it can. And then we're going to retreat them and we're going to see what happens. So yeah, I don't expect these guys to win. But I must be honest with you, I expect them to lose pretty badly. But what I expect them to do is damage the... Uh... Ooh, I got more people helping. 
That's good. Uh, still losing by a lot, though. I expect these guys to kill just enough to where we could actually fight them on our own. That's basically where I want to be at. So, we're doing a pretty good job, though. I mean, it turned, yeah, it's only 14,000 men. That's not too bad. I mean, it could be a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. So with 14k men, that's going to be easily manageable. Plus, we just damaged the morale, so they're not going to be able to just instantly siege down the castle. That's okay. Okay, combine all the lower men. Um, and by the way, there's a second reason why I switched over to Merc Group. is because we also need to kind of... Well, I, I'm going to take advantage of our fact that we can use Mercs and almost... They get, un, they get replenished so quickly. I mean, look at our old men. Our old men are kind of sad when it comes to this respect, so... You know, having an all Merc army, at least for now, at least until our, like, manpower seriously recovers, is not going to be bad. Um... I'm sending my men instantly to go, at least right here, to go... What? They can gain... What? They can gain their soldiers back? Oh my goodness, and this game is... That's... I guess that's more realistic. I, I can't say that... I was gonna say that's unrealistic, but I was like, no... They... They're not stupid. I mean, they are rebels, but they're not stupid. They know how to fight. Okay, so... Basically what that means is that I'm going to have to really fight these guys. So I'm gonna recruit, recruit some... Battle-hearted veterans on the on the uh, eve eve of war, right next to here, so we can actually have a decent-sized army. So, who are you gonna fight? Lots of rebels. That's all I gotta say. And it's almost time for them to move on. Scary thought. I'm not moving. If they're going to move, they're gonna have to fight me, which isn't gonna be that hard right now because I'm still trying to combine all my men. I have 12,000 troops. Let's see, they have very weak troops. Dang, they, they healed up everything. Hey, hey, Leverian Oriole, could you, like, help me out again? I'm going to attack them again. And by the way, do I have the most up-to-date army ever? What? <sighs> Give it a second. That's stupid of me. I, I, I just realized we were supposed to have those guys. No wonder why no wonder why we were failing so epically. Because I thought this suicide attack would be much more effective. Nope, this suicide attack is still terrible. Wait, no, it's not as terrible as I thought. Yes, yes it is. Never mind, it's just as terrible as I thought it would be. Yeah, this is gonna end up failing. I'm hoping this will weaken it though. Dang, these guys are just tough. These are tough. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to weaken them, but it's actually kind of destroying me. Okay. Build up more rebels. I mean, <laughs> not build up more rebels. Build up more men. We are not giving up on this. I am not. The strategy will eventually work. It will eventually. After I've done this like 20 or 40 times, it will eventually work. So let's do that. Okay. And that loan's going to be there for a very long time. So let's go back here. As soon as you guys are done with your little moping period... Go back here. My combine all dead men. Because I don't really want to deal with dead men. Okay, we got some Latin medieval people, men of arms. Keep at the men of arms. We want just mainly men of arms. Okay. Let's get some more. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just building up a gigantic army right next to them. Um, hopefully, maybe one of my uh, friends would help me out so I can actually get this all going. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, that these guys are not going to be able to do much. I'll just keep building up. And what is our force limit? So I know how much we can... We can raise about 17,000 K. That's a good amount of soldiers right there. So we're just going to... We're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to casually build up our army until it's about that size. And then I'm hoping... What I'm hoping is that they'll split up at least some of their army so we can go... Wait. Maybe what will happen is that these guys will help me out. Come on, Teutonic Order! I'm relying on you guys to come help me out! Yes! Okay, we killed a lot more than we usually do. Yes, yes, okay, they're sending in their troops to come help me. Come on, guys, get there quickly. Yes! Okay, chase them down. Chase them down. Do not stop a relentless attack. Eventually, yes! Money wins in the end, everyone. Money wins in the end. You can't buy me love, yeah. But you can buy me money, because that works. Okay, so... Go down here. Oh, my goodness, we did it. 
We crushed the gigantic 20,000 groups of rebels. And now we are actually starting to become the dominant power again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And they're dead. Whew! Okay. I feel happy now. <laughs> we crushed them all, and now we can start severely converting and destroying their homelands and culture and they don't need to have culture go send this yeah go send this to these guys we need we need to start converting everyone everyone needs to be our faith seriously because faith it seems like that is the main oh my goodness where did they come from okay well actually my other friends are dealing with them so I'm gonna deal with all these sieges and I'm gonna divide my army up go right here and yeah we just got control over a big gigantic thing and our legitimacy has become 53 so now we are of leg officially legit rulers okay you guys should be winning that yeah that makes me feel so happy right now oh my goodness you guys do not know how much that is making me you have claims on lots of stuff I know you have a free advisor slot shoot somebody just died that's usually not good okay well before should I get the no let's pay back our loans and then we'll deal with, uh, we pay back our loans. Okay, and then we'll get our advisor here soon. But I just want to make sure our loans are paid back. We can also stop supporting our fleet that much. I just realized we were doing that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that, but we're not supposed to. Okay, but we're just going to do that. And I have no rebels in my land. And <laughs> look at Norway. 